right, hello again everybody, this is Mr. Fleming, and here is your second lecture for this week about slant asymptotes. All right, so to talk more about asymptotes, we're going to look at some graphs. So the first graph we're going to look at is 1 over x minus 5. Now to figure out what this graph looks like, we'll have to look at the, um, the vertical asymptote, VA, and or the horizontal asymptote. For the HA. So the, for the vertical asymptote, I notice that in the denominator I have an x minus 5, which means there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 5, where the denominator equal would be equal to 0. Now for the horizontal asymptote, I notice that the degree of the top is 0, right? Remember, for, zero, for numbers, the degree is 0. And the degree of the bottom is 1, okay? So I know that the numerator is less than the denominator, which means the HA is Y equals zero. All right, and then if you were to go on Desmos, you would find that that graph looks something like this. If you have your vertical asymptote at five, graph's gonna look so, and your horizontal asymptote at zero, it's gonna look something like that. Bam, not too bad, right? Okay, we go on to the next situation where, say, now we have 8x over x minus 5. We're looking for a vertical asymptote and a horizontal asymptote. Okay, well, our vertical asymptote is the same, x equals 5. But now for the horizontal asymptote, I know the degree of the numerator is 1 and the degree of the denominator is also 1. So we compare the leading coefficients. The leading coefficient here is 8. Leading coefficient here is 1. 8 over 1 is just 8. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals 8. Okay, so that's not that different. So if you would, if you were to go in Desmos, here's what you would get. You have a vertical asymptote at 5 and then a horizontal asymptote at 8. So it just moves up a little bit, right? So it's going to look something like that. Okay, now we're going to do another graph. We're going to do 2x squared over x minus 5. Okay, our vertical asymptote is the same, is x equals 5. And we know, we're looking at the degree, that the 2x squared, the degree is 2, and x minus 5 degree is 1. The numerator is greater than the denominator, so we learn that's no horizontal asymptote, right? But when I go to Desmos, I'm going to get something that looks really interesting. Our vertical asymptote is at x equals 5, like always, but I'm going to get something that looks like this. And I'm like, whoa, that is super strange. It's almost like there's an invisible line that's slanted here. And you would be right. This is called a slant asymptote. It's almost as if a horizontal asymptote just shifted to the side. So when the degree of the numerator is one degree higher than the denominator, you're going to get a slant asymptote. So the numerator is higher than the denominator. And the equation of this asymptote is equal to the numerator divided by the denominator. And it's going to turn out to be a linear, a linear line in kind of like a y equals mx plus b form. It's very cool. And you're going to use polynomial box division to do this. All right. So the first equation we're going to do is we're going to see it's going to be three. No, it's negative three x squared plus two over x plus one. OK, pretty cool. So we know that the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator. So we're going to have a slant asymptote. All right, to find that slant asymptote, we're going to use our good old box division. All right, so we're going to divide x plus 1 by this. So x and 1 
make a nice little box. You know, they're my friends. Okay, so then we'll put our negative 3x squared in here. To get negative 3x squared from x, just multiply that by negative 3x, then bring it down. It's going to be negative 3x. There's no x term um, in here, so that means I just do a positive 3x here. And then 3 times x is 3x. I'll equal, what is it? Three here. Oh, sorry. And yes, so we like three here, and then a remainder. Yeah, like we have this, like two. So like it'd be negative one, but the remainder doesn't matter here. Actually, it's not going to matter at all. So we have our slant asymptote here, which is y equals negative 3x plus 3. Not too bad, not too bad. So then that is our slant asymptote. Okay, and then we're gonna do one more. Okay, so the next one is going to be x squared plus two over x minus two. All right, so same thing. We definitely do have a slant asymptote because it's one greater than the other one. So we just do our box division again. So we'll do x minus two. Mm -hmm -hmm. And then put our x squared there, right? And then I know that x times x is x squared. Carry it down, negative two x. There's no x term in there. So this would be a positive 2x, they cancel out. And then 2 times x is 2x, carry that down, that is negative 4. Then you'll have a remainder of 6 to get that positive 2. But we don't, again, we don't need to care about the remainder. So you know that the slant asymptote is y equals x plus 2. Pretty cool.